when you have something like square root of a times square root of b this is the same thing as square root of a times b for instance let's make use of numbers let's say we are giving something like square root of 2 times square root of 3 so this is something as square root of 2 times 3 which give us square root of 6 all right so when you break square root of 6 down you get a result let's look at another example we have something like square root of a times square root of a this is something as square root of a times a which give us square root of a square okay square root of a square now this square we cancel this square root so our final result will be what a this is basically what is saying so it's advisable you before you cancel enclose it with bracket like this so the square we cancel the square root okay now that's the first rule of sorts when you have two values multiplying each other so you break them the two values together in a single bracket okay now let's look at the second rule which is the division rule when you have something like square root of a over square root of b so this is something as square root of a over b okay now let's make use of numbers or if you have something like square root of 8 over square root of 2 now this is the same thing as square root of 8 over 2 so 2 we cancel this one now we left the square root of 4 and square root of 4 will give us what 2 so say it's plus or negative 2 but we make use of the plus sign that's why we say that the square root of this will give us what 2 so that's just for the second rule now let's look at the third rule now when you have something like this square root of a plus square root of b now this is not the same thing as square root of a plus b this is a minus very very bad not correct right when you are having plus sign don't do it like this this is the same thing as square root of a plus square root of b just do nothing about it okay now let's wipe this and look at the fourth rule okay now for the fourth rule this one is a bit tricky, but I'm going to simplify it or break it down. Now we have something like this. We have a bracket a plus square root of b square. Okay. Now this thing is the same thing as a square plus two a square root of b plus b. Now let me show you how we got this. Just like we did in factorization of algebraic expression that involves difference of two square. Okay, now if you break this down, a plus square root of b, a plus square root of b. So this is what it means. When you simplify this guy, we have a returns a plus square root of b, all right, plus square root of b times a plus square root of b. So when you simplify for the way to have a square plus a square root of b plus a square root of b plus now we have square root of b times square root of b this is something as square root of b times b the first rule we looked at so when you break this down this is something as square root of b square this square we cancel the square root so this square cancel the square root here our final result will now be a square a square root of b plus a square root of b will give us plus 2 a square root of b we now left it since we have simplified this is b since we have simplified square root of b times square root of b and we got it to be b so plus b so that's how we got this guy so let me confuse with it now let's look at the fifth rule let's write this when we have something like this in bracket a plus square root of b okay and a bracket a and a square root of b and we asked to simplify this this sort this guy our results our final answer would be a square this is not a square minus b let me show you how you will get to a square minus b the same technique now just like when you are multiplying or divide expressions that has 
double brackets. So this is going to be a in bracket a minus square root of b, all right, plus square root of b in bracket a minus square root of b. So when you simplify this, I'm going to have a square minus a square root of b plus a square root of b. Now we now have b square times minus b square. So we're going to have minus square root of b times b. Square root of b times b is to give us square root of b square. So this, you enclose it like this. This square cancel the square root. So our final result will now be a square minus a square root of b plus minus plus a square root of b will give us zero. All right. Just like saying minus one plus one will give you zero. Okay, so we left with a square minus b. All right, so that's how we got this. So it's as simple as that. Now let's write this now. Look at the last rule for sort. Okay, now the last rule will be the to involve rationalization of sorts. If you have something like a over square root of b, this is something as a over square root of b times square root of b over square root of b. So that what it will imply. Okay, if you have something like, let me just say, just take this rule involve rationalization. I want to explain something. This way, I give you something like a over a minus. Oh, let me not use a. It's on my run. Let me use c minus b. Or uh, let me use a positive sign here, rather. Or either positive or negative sign. The same principle. Now, this, if you want to rationalize this kind of sort, this will be a over c plus b times. This time I want this sign will change to c minus b over c minus b. All right, so when you are dealing with sorts, you want to rationalize the sort and the denominator. We have either a positive sign or a negative sign in between them, just like here. All you simply have to do when you are rationalizing, when you get to here, you invert or change the sign of the original sign equation is having at the denominator. All right, so that's basically what I want to explain.